Hi everybody, my name is Andrew O'Mara and I'm from the Institute for Disaster Mental Health at the State University of New York at New Paltz. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy event today to hear about some of the resources we have been developing at our institute in collaboration with our partners at the Uger Help Foundation. We've been working with the Uger Help Foundation since the spring of 2021 um, to get our resources in an unusual situation translated and distributed to children suffering from mental health needs, um, both in Ukraine and elsewhere in, uh, in Europe who have been impacted by the current war. So the resource that our institute developed is called An Unusual Situation. Um, it is a short picture book for kids um, that follows the character of Milo, who you can see here, the red bird on the cover. Um, and in the story, Milo goes through a very unusual situ uh, situation that's impacting himself, his family, and his larger community. This is an, a, a type of situation that Milo has never been through before, and it's very confusing, and it's hard for him to understand what's going on. Um, throughout the story, Milo is able to, um, to find things in his own life and utilize the people around him to develop some coping strategies and ways to be resilient to get himself through this unusual uh, situation. The concept of this book is based in bibliotherapy, which is the use of literature resources um, to help kids learn about therapeutic um, ideas. In this case, building resilience, building coping strategies, um, that kind of thing. Essentially, by identifying with the characters in the story, children are able to learn vicariously through the character of Milo based on what he's been going through, identify with some of the common reactions that he's been having, as well as learning some of the coping skills that Milo's been learning in the book. This book also helps children to recognize that they're not alone in their experiences, in their struggles, in their emotions, um, and that difficult situations happen to people. And it's not that they are, that's not that there's anything wrong with them, but that something has happened to them and they're having a reaction to that. Children can also use these resources to learn that there's multiple different ways to cope with how they're feeling. Um, maybe ways that they had never thought about before or ways that they had never used before. Uh, bibliotherapy in general and both and uh, yeah, this book can both be used individually with individual children one on one with an adult, as well as in small group interventions. And in addition to the original storybook that uh, resource that we've developed here at our institute, we also developed a couple accompanying uh, resources that I just wanted to explain really quick. So of course we have the original storybook, um, and again this is very useful for character identification, introduce, uh, introducing the concepts of resilience, coping, and emotion identification to children. Um, and again this can be uh, used with children um, reading them reading the book alone, or it can be used in a group reading or a group discussion. In addition to the original storybook, we also developed a coloring book edition. Um, Content-wise, this is exactly the same as the storybook. Um, the only difference is that the pictures and the images have been converted to black and white. Um, so this uh, adds the ability for children to color in the images, add their own little flair to the, to the book, um, and can be um, especially useful for younger children who might, have, um, who might find it more interesting to be sitting there coloring in the book as opposed to reading it, for instance. Um, and then the last resource we have here is our Unusual Situation Workbook. Um, this is comprised of structured activities for, that children can engage in, um, utilizing the concepts from the original Unusual Situation story. So in this uh, workbook, children can engage in emotion identification, emotion expression, and developing some coping strategies for themselves. Um, and in addition, one of the ones I don't have on here is an unu Unusual Situation Guidebook. Um, this is an inst instruction manual, um, essentially, for adults, for teachers, for counselors to be able to utilize the workbook and an unusual situation with the children. So it just gives some some uh, some suggestions on how to use the workbook, how to use those structured activities, additional activities you can do with the books, etc. And as I mentioned earlier. Um, Throughout the course of this project, we have been collaborating with our partners at the Uger Help Foundation to get the book translated into the Ukrainian language um, and to get it distributed to children in need across Ukraine. Um, so here are some images of children um, utilizing the unusual situation resources in Western Ukraine um, with some organizations that we've been partnering with to send them some books. Um, so if there are ways that we can, uh, that you think your organization can utilize these resources, please either reach out to the Uger Help Foundation um, or to us here at the Institute for Disaster Mental Health. If you are interested in getting in touch with us at the Institute uh, for Disaster Mental Health about the util utilization of these resources um, or how you can best use them, um, our contact information is on here. So my personal email, as well as our main institute's email down below, um, as well as the email uh, address for our executive director, Dr. Amy Nitza, who unfortunately could not be here today. Um, we do currently have the resources available in Ukrainian, like I had mentioned, um, as well as English, um, Spanish, French, Haitian Creole, Russian, and I believe 
Czech is next on, on our list. Um, if there are additional languages that you would like the book to be translated into, please just get in contact with us um, and we can discuss um, how, we how we could make that work. Um, the books, like I said, are printed. Um, we do have physical copies both in Ukrainian and in English. Um, however, if you do want to get digital copies, we do have those available as well. So you can either get in touch with us directly about that, um, or we also have a quick um, download survey. So if you scan the QR code here on the slide, it will take you to a quick survey, maybe five or 10 minutes, that'll ask you a little bit of information about you, uh, yourself, your organization, and how you intend to use the, re the resources. And then it will uh, grant you access to be able to download those PDFs. PDF resources. And again, if there's anything that we can do um, to help with any of these, any of the projects that your organizations are working on, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, that's exactly why we're here. So thank you again for taking the time out of your busy event today to hear about our resources. And I hope that we hear from some of you soon.